World War II ended 75 years ago, but Jewish families, many of them, are still trying to claim back property that was taken from them. The U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments today about whether Germany and Hungary are immune from lawsuits brought by Holocaust survivors and their descendants. CBS Washington correspondent Jesse Turnier reports. The Nazi government set out explicitly to destroy the German Jewish people by taking their property. Now, decades later, a group of heirs is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to help them reclaim or be reimbursed for a valuable art collection their ancestors were forced to sell during Adolf Hitler's reign. Congress has specifically identified the Nazis' looting of art from the Jewish people as genocidal. But the attorney representing the German government argued it's nothing more than a property rights case. It would be bizarre for courts to decide if a state has violated human rights law by murdering its own nationals just as a jurisdictional hook to hear a property claim. The court also heard a similar case against Hungary. But in that case, the type of property was different. Possessions necessary to survive, such as shelter, clothing and medicine. The attorney for the Hungarian Holocaust survivors said they should be able to sue for compensation in U.S. courts. But the attorney representing the Hungarian government said it's not a U.S. matter. The merits of this case should not be decided by an American judge applying American law in Washington, D.C. The U.S. government sided with the foreign countries. If we can bring these kinds of actions here, well, so can these other countries do the same and accuse us? I mean, what about Japanese internment? Justices Stephen Breyer and Elena Kagan questioned how these cases could impact U.S. foreign relations. The State Department is expecting the courts to do the difficult and sensitive and um, some might say dirty work for you. Both decisions are expected sometime next year. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.